Hey guys, Josh here from I'll Do It Myself. I have been thinking about recording some YouTube videos for quite some time, and I decided what better time than when I ordered my new CNC. I've been using an X-Carb for a while and constantly hitting barriers with its build not being rigid enough for my liking. There are lots of upgrades, but I thought it was about time I moved on. I purchased a workbee kit from Bulkman 3D, and before purchasing, I was not able to find an unboxing video or even a build video of one of his kits. Other than finding comments online that he was legit and the kits were of good quality, I was in the dark, so I decided to do a series of videos while I built mine. Please bear with me as I don't have a background in film, so there is a lot to learn. I quickly shot the unboxing video of the three boxes and thought that people might want to see what's actually included and how it's all shipped together, so here we go. Here we have the fasteners. This is our 80mm spindle mount, our emergency stop switch, this is our end stop switches, and we have our hardware bag. This is our cable drag chain mounts some wasteboard mounts. This one is a stepper driver TB6600. We'll see how these go. There's two more. And that's number four. It's our Z-axis C-beam rail. our Novo Sun NVUM USB controller for Mac 3. So DC wiring. This one's pretty heavy. This must be a uh, yeah, a high torque stepper motor. And number four. And here we have our end plates. And that's it for this box. On to the next one. Okay, first we have our spindle cable. Our spindle water lines for the water cooled version. So stepper motor wise and end stop wise, they look shielded, so that's good. We have a cable track chain. Number two. Number three. These are our ER20 collets, all different sizes. Uh, 24 volt power supply. Here's our submersible water pump. Again for the water cooled version. This is a big box. You know what this one is. It's our VFD uh, 110 version for the 2.2 kilowatt spindle. This one's heavy, so it has to be our spindle. Here's my mad one-handed opening skills.
Why not? It's not easy, guys. Whoa, that's big. And heavy. This should be interesting. That's it for that box. Onto the long one. And a 20 by 40. Another 20 by 40. Looks clean. Uh, here's our lead screws. Packaged quite well, they shouldn't get bent. Looks like our Z fell through though, but that's alright. Nice and tight fit in there. We have a C beam here with a 20 by 40 inside it. that's it for the unboxing. I hope this series helps someone and I'm looking forward to getting this build underway. Stay tuned for the build series and thanks for watching.